Okay, so we've fired up WWE 2K19, Ooh, yeah. and today I want to talk about some issues and problems that I'm having with the current installment of the game, and hopefully look towards some improvements that should be made for WWE 2K20. Now, these aren't anything major. I'm not looking for a new game mode or anything like that with these videos, but what I am looking for is for subtle improvements that help creators and also players of the game. So for example, I find I have issues navigating through the menus to get things done quickly when creating my WWE 2K Universe mode. I find that sometimes if I want to achieve something quick, I simply can't do it. It takes a lot of time, I end up getting frustrated, and I wonder why it's taken me so long because what I want to do is relatively simple. So I hope that these kind of videos will resonate with you and you'll agree with some of the issues that I'm having and look towards improvements too. Now today we're in the uh, creation suite and we're looking at the whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. And you can pick this up for PlayStation 4. It's on the front page of the community creations and he looks, well, he looks awesome. But... I want to use this as an example because what we've got here is Rob Van Dam and this is his first attire. But if I come out of that, you'll see that he's got two attires. Now, I want to use in this scenario the second attire. I want to use this inside the video section of the game when picking up and creating a cutscene. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over towards the video section of WWE 2K19 and we're going to look at the issues that I'm experiencing because for me this is frustrating because I think that you should be able to achieve this with no problems now in a WWE game yet this is still much more convoluted than it needs to be and I feel like you have to go around the houses to get what you want and of course what I'm asking for is for WWE games to give me what I want, like Batista would say. So anyway, let's go over and let's take a look now in the video section of the problem that I'm encountering. So, big problemo, just to clue you up. I've actually done this process. I've gone through the whole video suite and everything like that. Then I realized I forgot to press record on the audio. So speaking about this process being frustrating, well, it's doubly frustrating now because I've got to do it again. So let's continue. Oh my God. So let's go into video. And we don't want to go to the highlight reel today. We want to go new because we want to use the cutscene. I've just done this already. We go top layer, add a clip, and then we go down to cutscene. And we want to select, it doesn't really matter, we're not too fussed today. There's no specific reason, this is just an example. We go to promo, and we want to go to, let's say, taunt, because Rob Van Dam was always good at doing that. And now we have to wait, because in the normal scenario, you'd want to look through and choose your cutscene. And disappointingly, these aren't labeled, so you can't get there quickly. And also the loading time is pretty bad. But finally, they're loaded up. And let's go down, let's take a quick look. And I just wanna kind of keep this going as I would normally, so you can see how long it takes. So we keep going, don't want that one. I want one with Rob Van Dam kind of being a bit smug. Let's have a look, what's this one like? And this is all right, we'll go with this one. but. As you can see, if I wanted to go through all the cutscenes, it takes time already. But I'm gonna go pick my arena now. So what I wanna do is choose a custom arena and we're going with the ECW arena. So we're going old school, Rob Van Dam. Not one of a kind. He's always been one of a kind. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. And again, we'll wait. So this is the process that I would encounter normally when trying to get a cutscene. It's loaded up now. Now all we've got to do now is go and grab that Rob Van Dam and just remember, I wanted to use the second attire, not the first. I want that second attire. So we go in, we pick the cast, 
and I want to go to Rob Van Dam. So I'm going to try and navigate as quickly as I can to RVD. And there he is. Let's pick him. And now, did you see what the problem is? You probably already tweaked it. But let's wait. Let's wait for this to load up. I mean, the time for cutscenes is pretty bad. That needs to be looked into. I always feel like this video section of the game is almost an afterthought, but it is seriously important, not just to creators, but players too. And I think it could be even more important if they incorporated this into something like universe mode, where you actually have the option to select your own cutscenes within the game. But, you know, that's something we can only hope for. This is a much more simple issue that needs to be addressed. There you go. There is the whole effing show. Rob Van Dam in the ECW arena, but we've got one problem. He's not in the attire that I want. And remember, I should have used Batista for this. I want WWE games to give me what I want. And I want that second attire. So I'm gonna show you what we now have to do to achieve this, to get him in the second attire. And I will mention one quick thing on a note. I wish with microphones and any sort of branding within a custom arena, it didn't have the WWE logo plastered all over it, or if it does, it gives us the option to remove it. So we can remove that WWE logo, retro or not, sometimes it's hit and miss depending on what arena you use, what logo appears, but I would like to replace that, for example, with an ECW logo. It's custom after all, but that's just a side note. But now we've got the problem, so let's come out and I'm gonna take you through the process. So out we go. Couldn't use the attire, very frustrating. Should be able to pick one or the other. That's what should happen. It should come up and say, which attire do you wanna use? No issues with it being paired or not. Rob Van Dam is not in this game. It's all custom, but yet still can't pick that secondary attire. And we come all the way out. Out again. And we wanna go to Superstar. Edit Custom Superstar, because we've got to edit Rob Van Dam now. And this is why things take time. And we wanna go to RVD. Don't really like the navigation system overall. I find that it's you know not clean enough, uh, but edit. I just don't feel like I can move quickly to things. And that's what I wanna be able to do. I feel like I'm always looking for something. So here we go, and we go to attire. And what we now need to do is we need to copy this attire that we want over the first attire. So here we go. I have actually clicked the button, it's loaded up now. Copy attire. Yep, I wanna overwrite that one. So now we wait. And this is what it becomes, a waiting game. Done. Now it's done. But I don't wanna lose the first attire because it's a great attire. So what I have to do as well is copy the original, the first attire into the second slot. So we'll take this one copy and we plonk it over here now this is needless this shouldn't have to happen i should have already you know been and done my business and got the hell out of here and be editing it in to my universe mode right now but i can't so we've got this we need to copy this one again i wait copy yes now we can overwrite because we've saved the other attire in the second slot. Tick tock, there we go. And you know, just for some tidy housekeeping, we're gonna copy this one for the entrance attire too. But again, this is needless. It shouldn't have to happen. You should be able to pick either or. So now we're done. Don't forget to save it because I've done that so many times. Just checking that I have the audio recording this time. Everything's going smoothly to plan. But that's the issue that you also encounter because you have to go and do these other things that aren't really what you want to do. You end up messing up the thing you want to do in the first place. Ever experienced that? If you have hit the like button, 
You'll appreciate my pain. So we wait. Even this, like I see the loading bars going, but it looks like it's kind of frozen. I just would like it to feel more robust. We wait. We wait. Here we go. Right, so we're in a better place now. So we don't need to worry about this. We'll quickly come out of that. And we'll come out of this. And now we're heading back to video. Now we've got to repeat the process. New. Top layer. Add clip. Cutscene. Promo. Go all the way. And then we want taunt. That's what we had before. I believe it was the fourth cutscene that we used. So I'm going to jump to that now. But still, I've got to wait for it to load up. So I speeded up the process because I know it off by heart, but still, it's not great. Select Arena, have to repeat this. ECW, boom. And we wait. I must have said that a lot of times in this video. She do like a drinking game every time I say, and we wait, have a shot. Obviously, if you're like underage, drinking, not not good for you. Don't go there. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's continue. So now we've got the ECW arena, the final thing to do, which is, of course, the main part and the thing that we wanted to achieve in the first place. Here we go. All the way. There he is. And now, slowly but surely, we should finally be able to achieve the objective, which was picking the secondary attire for the whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. And it still hasn't loaded up yet. My goodness. It's building anticipation. Come on. Give me what I want. Please. Pretty please. Come on. There we go. So now we've got Rob Van Dam in the ECW arena wearing the attire that we want, which was the second attire. And what 2K need to look into and fix is that when you pick a superstar, if it's a custom superstar, you should have the option in video to select the attire that you want, whether it be one or two, both should be available. If you're picking a superstar within the game who's got a paired attire, those paired attires should show up in that option too. It shouldn't be a case that you have to unpair a superstar to go and use that custom attire for cutscenes. It's just not necessary. If you pair it, the superstar's attire should come as part of the package of that paired superstar, which means it should be available in all aspects of the game, which includes cutscenes. So if you're like me and feel this type of frustration with a WWE game, slap a like on this video and I'll look into bringing you more issues that I hope will get fixed for WWE 2K20, because the only way they will get fixed is if we bring them to light. And let me know any issues that you encounter and ones that pop up the most, if I have the same problem, I'll bring them to light too. But I think this is something that, although isn't a massive issue, it would save great frustration for creators and players of the game if something like this was fixed. Because now we have Rob Van Dam ready to go. But damn, it took a long time. All that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Dalzinski, signing out.